I don't work with the term anymore and I also strongly don't feel that it has a place in this society. Well, it's actually a big thing. It's not really nice, is it? Like, it's not Because you never know, this guy could be the nicest guy in your life, you know? You can't just expect wrong of him. Uh, it's making me angry. It's fundamentally wrong, like it's, it's degrading kind of to people, so that's what I would think about racism. There is. There is. definitely a problem. Definitely. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. It's alive and well, probably, uh, in our own dear little country here. It's living, unfortunately. Yeah. I think the. But I think it's something all over the world. That it happens in Ireland. It's just that it affects. No, I, I think it is, well. It is, yeah. I'd never, I, ne I, I haven't seen too much uh, stuff about it, but it's the type of thing where you hear stories and stories. Uh. Like, people still have this uh, mentality, like, uh, racist, you know, towards to color people, you know, and uh, what we think about the, the other people is not the same that they think about us, you know. That, that's, a, that's a huge problem in talk, where you think, oh, it's, it's all right because we're not racist to other people. Of so course, we can, so it's, it's like, quote, it's like, like we have a quote of being a little bit racist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not good, like, no. Uh, yeah, because what happened in Port Marnock that time? My brother's right here. Okay. And uh, it was like a war, like white people against black people. Yeah. And the result of racial comments on Facebook and all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I used to get bullied in school for being black. Yeah, the only black kid in the school. Um, I'd say yeah, there's definitely definitely a problem now. I'd say our generation aren't too bad, but we've inherited something from previous generations that were because they didn't see other cultures as much. They might, you know, you fear what you don't know. So we might have inherited just a bit of that. But I'd say over time it might settle. You know. Yeah. I saw somebody shouting after somebody shouting racist abuse after a Chinese fellow on a bike. I said a pub shouting after him. So then I shouted at him, the pedal like hell to get away from him. Um, uh, okay, not a big deal, but for example, okay, because of this economic situation, uh, I suppose Irish people got a bit more sensitive about having lots of foreigners working here. So I was in a friend's house and this Irish guy told me, oh, uh, what are you doing here, working, blah, blah, blah. I'm unemployed and you're working, what, how, why is it that, I'm, that happening? And I asked him, okay, if you know Italian, you're welcome in the place where I work because it was um, a call center working with Italian customers. So I, I told him, if you speak Italian, you're welcome there. A lot of things against uh, Romanian gypsies as well. They get an awful large stick. Um, yeah, especially when you're going to school, because um, you might not fit in, especially if you're new. I know I was going to school in Wexford and I was only like a black guy in my school, and it's, it's very hard to go because a lot of people bully you if you go on the bus, you know, try and make fun of you, try and make jokes, and uh, they see it as messing, but they don't know how you feel about it, you know? Yeah, when I was younger, like, people would say, oh, yeah, hello, Packing, come back to your country, and I'd be like, you know, and my little sister gets bullied because I was girl, like, from racism. And my sister was home crying, ah, people call me this, people call me that, why don't you do nothing about And then eventually she, like, like cop on and not bother with because that's what happened to me, like, I just don't care about people calling me stuff anymore. She's like, okay, I don't really care. But I don't see her any difference because she's my niece, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't see any skin colour. Like, I've seen it a few times, say, on the buses, where there'll be um, bus drivers and, like, they would get to abuse. You see, like, the way some Irish people actually go over to other countries to, like, get spirits to, like, go out, you know? Imagine, like, they should be in that place. Imagine they are the one getting bullied over there, like, why are you in my country? Why are you out here, you know? It's the same thing, you know? Uh, you need to be have the more future generation more respectable, you know. Yeah. To everyone else, doesn't matter who they are. I think we all have an obligation towards each other and the young people that look up to us, especially. Well, I mean, there's a lot of misunderstanding, I suppose, about the way foreigners and Irish uh, interact here. And I mean, in the work. Education. Um, I'd say the government probably has a lot to do with it in their procedures. Being more culturally aware. 
I think the best thing to do is start in the school, you know, with children uh, in the basic, basic school, you know, I think it's the best uh, way to, to stop racism. I should be more tolerant of everybody, like, because I think we're really, really lucky in the first place to, like, have such a massive amount of different people living in Ireland. I always think talking to people is the best education in the world. Me, not only me, I'm talking for all the people who's watching this, because uh, they cannot talk. They don't have the power to talk, so I talk like I, I when I feel free. There's a lot of resentment, I think, from the Irish people because of the way the economy is, I think. Do you know that way? So maybe the government could do something about that. I, I don't know what. I don't you know. It's good that the, the schools, I suppose, are a bit mixed, but at the same time, have to, I think we'd have a tendency to say there's no difference. I think if you embrace difference, that's the, the key to... It's okay to be different, but that yeah. should be the answer. We're, we're, we are, Ireland people are a culture of immigrants ourselves and to remind people of that, to remind people of our famine days and to, you know, instead of showing pictures of like minorities here, show a bunch of Irish lads in Australia, put pictures of them up there, you know what I'm saying, saying look we're out there in the world, you know what I mean, and we're getting a hard time in like, uh, seen as the, you know, alcoholic, drunk ruffians in Australia, remind people back home here that our own people who are forced to immigrate are having a hard time abroad and when, when I think if it sinks into people's minds that there's actually Irish people out there being uh, suffering racial abuse. We don't suffer here because we're Irish, we're in our own nation, but it's out there. That's First well, of all, stop being racist. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely uh, more educational classes or uh, defense classes because once a name is being called or you, someone's being bullied because of who they are, mostly 100% of the person is actually being bullied. They can't defend themselves for it. You know? They usually add numbers either by words or by people around them as well. So, like, do you need more support from the community, basically? They're fun to stop this band of organizations just do proper things, put money into it and yeah. deal with it where, where uh, Irish people have suffered racism and Irish people are genuinely, are generally nice, so they just need to bring out that awareness in people and just do it properly. Um, absolutely, I would, no doubt. If he, if he, uh, Happened to me, I would report it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah definitely. Of yeah. course, yeah. I will. Of course, of course. Of course. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think just yeah, to get some figures because people don't know what's, people don't know what's what's say It's a silent problem. People don't know if you don't, if you've never experienced it. We're not, we don't suffer it, so you don't know about it. It's some way of knowing what other people are experiencing. It's good, it's good to, to have this system like we can, uh, we can use to express ourselves. Like, you know. Man, some things you just, you do, you, go, you, you think about on the bus that was a horrible thing, but you probably wouldn't do much about it. But something that you felt was severe, you know what I mean, you probably report. I say so, yeah, because then you can get more help and people that are getting like, the racism can get help from. Person that's actually on it. Yeah, I probably would use it. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I'd say if I did see something that was really bad, like yeah, like say a woman or something being attacked, like yeah, I probably would. I would uh, look for my rights actually, you know, or maybe try to solve this problem for better. Yeah, I would love to do that because uh, this is a if people like uh, like like this, like coming up and talking to people on the street, like uh, get to know each other, like talk about your issue, talk about your problem, that's nice. I would I would love like I'm, I'm I'm enjoying to do that now because I want the people to see, it, to people to understand it. You understand? And people like you to listen to me. It's very important because sometimes when it's something is inside, like it's a, it's better to take it out to talk to someone and instead of like, uh, you know, keep it inside and then something come up in your mind and then... Racism, see it, send it, report it, I report that I... I report dot... I... Dot I... I report dot I... Racism, Racism, see it, send it, end it. Yeah. yeah. I report dot I... See it, send it, end it. Racism, see it, send it, end it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> fair play to you. Uh, races, see it, send it, and end it. Racism, see us, send us, end us. Racism, see us, send us, end us. I report that I. Racism, see it, send it, end it. Racism, see it, send it away. <laughs> <laughs>